Okay, my clients are good to go. Wait, the stream seems to, the Tony client so, seems to show 200 BSKs.
Okay, so more muscle will be Hibana featuring Hakan and Miku. Difficulty new and extra. And of course on the YouTube stream, so everything will be delayed. And off the right off the bat, we have Rambu Ching Teddy with a few break. So far, Sanju holding combo. I'm pitching Teddy with another miss. Meanwhile, Sanju holding holding on with the 99% ac. No, just under 99% ac. And also missing. Again, rampaging Teddy with more misses. And Sanju takes the first warm up with a 200,000 200, score advantage over Teddy. And I'm back. Sorry for the disappearance. My mom decided it would be a very good time to call me. Well, welcome back. <laughs> uh, I guess we're done with the warm ups. Oh, is this the first warm up or the second one? First warm up. Okay. Because you see, I think this was from. Teddy side, maybe. Uh, yep, both of my chats are set up. We are all good to go. And now, you know, I'll be waiting for my parents to take someone me. <laughs> and my turn is done now. It's Matthew's turn to be called. <clears throat> oh, so they are going with Kelly Kelly Joker. An absolute banger of a song. And I, I'm not sure which maps it this is. Uh, most of the maps on the song are pretty well mapped. 
Ya. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Apparently it actually happened. Good times indeed, Sam. Uh, we have a case of Teddy vs. Teddy uh, <laughs> Concerned And I'm now back again <laughs> Welcome back Apparently we are going to have a battle between the same people Ah <laughs> Okay, they changed <laughs> yep. This uh, uh, potline sign, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, the show match that you both did <laughs> It was basically Cyan vs. Cyan And now we have a new skin. Fuck. Uh, this is the one... Wait, I think this is the one that he was showing. I think this was the one he was showing on OS to discussion. Unless he changed it again. Oh. Because I'm watching the clients. Well, I think it's the same skin, but it's a different one compared to the usual. Mm-hmm. Oh god, those animated hundreds. <laughs> Sadly, no 300s, 4 out of mm -hmm. <laughs> That show match was really close. And it was the show match in which my uh, the clip of me commentating got into gloom shot. You know, I was commentating with 10 second delay and that shit got onto YouTube. SMH. You have Teddy breaking first on the lineup. Sanju actually carrying an SS like to route 25% of the map already. That would be Pox Iron, but someone would need to work on that real hard. Still, Sanju holding on. Mm hmm. Sanju still holding an SS. He as we reach the 50% mark of the map. Now, as we hit the 50% mark, Sanju is still holding the double SS. Holy shit. Meanwhile, rampaging Teddy is still building up combo. Mm -hmm. But nowhere near little, as much as Sanju. Yep. A little cute drawing coming from Teddy. Is Sanju going to go ahead and assess the entire map? Never mind, he did he drops an hundred. Fuck me! <laughs> but that is still absolutely nutty accurate. <laughs> and to do it on the core B2. Yep. <laughs> as soon as I speak, people get cursed. Teddy building up combo quite well there. But the accuracy difference is way too much. Plus he missed real early too. So based on the warm-up, what do you think of prediction or score, final score? Ah, uh, well I would... Sanju is so good in tournament play. His accuracy is nutty, he's also well. So I think that... 
I'm not sure to be honest. We'll just see. But I think Senju is going to have an upper hand on most of the maps because his pool is on the easier. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll still go for four zero? Like pretty much most of the tournament matches so far. I I think that's what's going to happen, but I don't want to say it out loud. Uh, maybe Teddy has a chance because he's been doing pretty good in the warm up. So we'll see. But to be honest, in all honesty, yeah, Sanju might pull a four zero. Who knows? Yeah, that's <laughs> But still, cheer Teddy on. <laughs> Don't give him the F already. <laughs> Pretty good performance from Teddy and fucking Sanju with a 2 into 100 as a warm up. SMH. Okay, so who should our sponsors be for this <laughs> question? I'm not sure. I have some bingo chips in front of me, so bingo. I think that's the sponsor. <laughs> uh, how about a uh, what pan masala? What was that? What was <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Mm -hmm. We have again an occurrence of rampaging Teddy versus Teddy. Okay, it's gone, never mind. Yeah, that's that was all that's always fun to watch. And the dog's really pulling through. Bingo sponsor indeed. I can do an ASMR with the chips, but I think I'll be removed from the commentating team. Yep. Uh yes, let's see. Sponsored by uh some cool water, yeah. Some mineralized water, which is good for you and cheap. <laughs> Sponsored by Bisleri. Bisleri. Stay hydrated, kids. Oh, we're going to Nestle. Nestle, you know. <laughs> we take all your, we take all your water and charge you through the nose. Yep. <laughs> Oh fuck, we actually missed the rules because I do not have the chat open on my client. <laughs> what did he roll? <laughs> so I think HD1 is banned, which is... Oh! Yeah. Potla, what are your thoughts about that? Because Potla said that they can win against Sanju and Hengu. And HR is also banned, so... Shit! Sanju really in the SS mode today. You only have one onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there's only one HD, but we still call it HD one. Haha, <laughs> yes, Retsu. I've only seen Vicky pick uh, Hachar on a free mod till now, and we all saw how that ended. <laughs> oh, so the first pick is hide and seek coming from Sanju. Uh, the technical, not technical, but finger control, bursty type map. I would definitely see Sanjay having an upper edge on this match because he's so good. His finger control is really good. <laughs> no, Vicky, oh, it ended quite bad. <laughs> I think we got some 81, 82 ish ack run and like some. 10 15 misses. I do not quote me, please. I do not remember. But yeah, he, he would have been better off picking HD. Wiki hasn't had his. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wiki or Wiki? Uh, bruh. Mind fuck. Wiki with a Y.
of, I, I'm getting confused. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, why not Sanju with with a few hundreds while rampaging Teddy with the SS? I yeah. spoke too soon. But he's dropped a shit ton load of hundreds as soon as Matthew says. And Sanju is back there in the act lead. Approaching the 97s. Oh, and the skin's also gone. Oh, uh, fuck, skin is gone, crab. <laughs> well, the default one is good, and it's got the 300s, so mm -hmm. I'll look at that. Oh, one look at Teddy's accuracy, it has dipped down to 85. That was quick. But Sanju back again with the lead. I mean, he had the lead the entire time, but the accuracy is just increasing. He's in the 95 right now while ramping in Teddy. 10 accuracy points below, but Sanju breaks first. Can Teddy combo game it through? Will he hold through the entire map? Guys, can we get some combo gaming in the chat? And now as we enter like a cooldown part, Teddy can build up some combo. Never mind, this is the hard part. I am really drunk today. Sanju is still having a really good uh, accuracy lead, but the combo, yeah. the score difference is really shrinking. But uh, and Teddy misses. That's an F right as they both approach the 300k mark. Sanju also follows right after, but this is where Sanju's accuracy lead will kick in. Mm -hmm. Basically, 10k point difference between both of the players right now. Sure, that large combo by Teddy has has mm -hmm. thrown him back. This is going to be really close, but Sanju's accuracy. Uh, Teddy losing a bunch of accuracy in the beginning is really going to haunt him right now. F in the chat for our uh, combo gamer. Senju's act was too strong. That just was still pretty close. 25 to 30k difference towards the end. Mm -hmm. Still half 11% act difference. Well, mm -hmm. he managed to get... Well, ravaging Teddy, he can, he can take comfort in the fact knowing that he scored a higher combo than Sanju. <laughs> yeah, you can think of it like that. But the players with the one miss, uh, accuracy wise, there was like 10 percentage of difference between Sanju and Teddy. Combo, Teddy had a higher combo, but he, the act it hurt way too much. Score V2. <laughs> yep, he did not combo game enough. <laughs> Your combo game needs to be stronger, Teddy, if you want to go with the 85 act. So free mod one, which is what is that? Let me check. Uh, free mod one is basically a very easy map. All of the players usually go with hidden, and most of them get real good FCs or high act chokes. Probably one of the easiest maps in the pool. Ah. Uh. I remember bitmaps by the background nowadays. I don't even remember the names. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, as Poi says, we want him. Like, Sanju is 100% capable of assessing this. If you do remember Poi's match, he got pretty close to assessing it, right? Or did he drop towards the end? I'm not sure. Yeah, Cyan GT is the easiest map in the pool. This is the easiest map if you know how to hidden. No mod when is just eh, it's quite long, so people <laughs> people who are prone to shit messing will shit mess a lot. Less than four hundred, so we'll see. Also them walking yeah, hidden. Yeah, both of them are rocking hidden. That's like most of the players are picked hidden, except for <coughs> Vicky. <coughs> what flavor of chips are they? Yep. Is it the spicy one? Ooh, yep. <laughs> and Teddy actually breaks early. That's really going to hurt, especially on these type of maps. He misses yet again. Oh, Teddy's having, having some trouble with HD right now. A couple of misreads right in the beginning.
And another mistweet as well. Yeah. Uh, Teddy actually having some trouble with the uh, three misses yet again. Sanju holding the SS still right now. I wouldn't be surprised if he assessed this. This will be the first SS in this tournament. Heck, I think... Did someone assess uh, anything in the regional tournament? If not, this is going to be the first SS this entire year in a tournament. Haha, <laughs> yes, Chips ASMR. Hey, you see, you have to do the Chips mukbang. <laughs> True. Become, become big chungus afterwards. <laughs> okay, now as we reach the 50% mark, Sanjo is holding strong with an SS. Guys, can we get some blessed RD in the chat? Teddy writing help. <laughs> oh lord. Teddy writing help with the smoke. That hurts. That hurts on a spiritual level. Teddy, stop choking. Yeah, I know. I don't think anyone assessed in OIWT from, from my memory itself. I think. Yes, this would be the first SS, I'm pretty freaking sure. And he... <laughs> Why did you guys make me talk about it? <laughs> Rip SS, we will never have an SS. <laughs> and there never will be. Sanjo still reflecting his godly accuracy as he hits the 700 combo mark. Teddy building up combo nice and slow, but the accuracy choke and the mystery press in the beginning is going to hurt him a lot, just as it was in the warm up. Only one possibility might be if Sanjo misses right about now, and but he drops under it. And Teddy has to hold the entire, the entire of the map, but 200k point difference, 25% of the map left, is going to be really close if Sanjo even misses. Now we really hardly score a string of misses, but Sanju does miss. Ooh, okay. That was a delayed curse. Sanju dropping, but is there enough map is the question right now. We have about 15% of the map land, Teddy breaks. What did he fail over there? Completely misreading that pattern. That's unfortunate. Uh, space is not talking unless I'm deaf. Ah, um, Teddy missing yet again over there. But that mess rate was absolutely painful. He missed around 6-7 notes there. F's for both. Sanju's accuracy is still nutty. 99.47 or 47. So, I think we only saw one miss in a couple of hundreds. Never mind, that was 400s. Uh, Teddy, 13 misses. You can see his graph over there. He freaking dropped like a bullet or a bucket <laughs> at that point. Dropped like a rock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I have to guess, like at the end of qualifiers, I would put San Judas got the ha highest average. True. Yeah, that's quite true. Uh, considering that he banned HR, I think he would have a really high average accuracy. Because DD is easy to act, everything else is easy to act, and he's pretty good on hidden. So even if they pick the other free mod, and he's going to go hidden, obviously on it. So even that is going to be quite easy to act. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm thinking, why? T now I realize why Teddy banned HD. <laughs> Teddy doesn't matter. He's got four hidden picks. Two free, mm -hmm. no, not two free mod, but mm -hmm. yeah. Curse come from Teddy, haha, <laughs> yes. I guess right now, for at least the qualifiers, I think Poya has the highest average accuracy. But Sanju might be a very good rival. Oh, so and the tech map is the next pick. Uh, picked by Sanju. 
Swift. So I'm just speaking it. You are quite confident in Jimmy. He's pretty good at tech, from what I know. He's pretty good at everything, basically. He's a really well-rounded player. Most of the newer players gen do not know how good Sanju is. But me and Moi used to discuss this a lot while we used to multi. Sanju, uh, Sadistic, and those underrated players, they're actually so good at tourneys because of their pure consistency and accuracy. Uh, it, it's budget tech, Poi. You can't really call it tech tech, it's budget tech. At it's most. tech light. Yeah. Light edition. <laughs> tech light. Plus it is mapped by Nino, so who usually all of his maps consist of very easy or, you know, common, generic patterns. So you can't really expect much. Especially his iconic N patterns or whatever the hell those are called in mapping community. Zigzag. <laughs> Zigzags. Oh, a Teddy with an early style break right off the bat. What's up with these lower rank players and their tactical misses right in the beginning? You see, if you miss early, then they won't be missing a laser. Or that's mm -hmm. the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Staircase jumps, haha, yes. It, those patterns have so many names. Are Sanju going strong with another SS after the first break? And one thing I've noticed that uh, while space is streaming, the delay is not that bad between the stream and the client. Uh, or else whenever Nitro used to stream, uh, God, it used to be like 15 seconds. Oh uh, yeah, it is 6-7 seconds for space, that's pretty good. So he's wrapping a bit of hundreds there, but this is the tech part, so that's, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Teddy breaks over there with the slider break, having some issues there, falling down to his 90% accuracy. Sanju also slider breaks over there, and he also drops a miss. Both of the players missing again. Teddy misses over there again. Oof. But again, that accuracy advantage is really keeping Sanju miles ahead of Teddy. <laughs> you get me, Arilson. They have a little bit of cooldown coming up here. But the players are building up combo. Uh, Sanjo is with the combo lead and the accuracy lead for now. But I think there's one more KI section coming up uh, soon. So let's see who holds on over there. Oh, Teddy actually breaks on the last combo burst of uh, that I can't or rip. Guys, can we get some hugs for Teddy in the chat? Oh, the last trip off. Oh. That's yeah, bad. Yeah, that was really sad. <laughs> and both of the players hitting those mini bursts. And now we are going back into sliders. Let's see if they can hold on. Sanjay building up a really good combo over there for 100-ish and before he breaks. Uh, <laughs> Teddy also building up combo. But Sanjay reaching 98% accuracy there. So a mess in the middle of the map, but he's really building up combo there. Now towards the end. Actually, FC is another mini burst that came on the way. Teddy also FC. He's still building up his act back a little by little. Both of the players FC that little stream. That was a lot of littles. Sanju currently acing all of those sliders. And now is here. Very basically the end of the Kiai. Sanju does not seem to break. Teddy dropping on the last note right before the slider. Oops. Two the duo and 3 0 for Sanju. Yep, he is maintaining his uh, Ag Guru status right now. Another 98%. Uh, we have seen... Wait, w w what Ag did he get on Hide and Seek? I don't remember. I don't think it was 97. Yeah, so 97, 99, 98. So around 98 Agris, average accuracy on Scorpio. I think that's pretty nice. But I still think Pai probably had a higher one. Higher. I have to check. So one miss coming from Sanju, that was really early on. He basically FC'd the rest of the map, so that was kind of a reverse show. Teddy with regular misses and a lot of slider breaks. And of course, the biggest factor was the accuracy. Again, 7% difference. Accuracy has been a really big factor between these two players. Sanju is just way too good at hacking. I think most of the matches, most of the matches I've been... There's always like a huge act between each player. 
Because you know, yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't know what space they were rolling or where the, the RNG yeah. gods were with us, but all of the good players got paired with a like a lower ranked player. Yeah. So this lower lower bracket is going to be really like well matched. Uh, but we have Poi there, thanks to Agnarok. <laughs> so <laughs> we might see another one sided domination if Poi does decide to go rampage. But we have some really skilled lower ranked players there to us here. And at this point, I don't see Teddy making a comeback or reverse sleep. I would have said something if it was like Agnarok or someone else against Sanju. And uh, whose pick was this? Yeah, oh, this is a DT pick. Teddy just picks DT because. That's the easiest map in the pool. Quote, spirit, whatever you want to end it there. So he's just keeping it on RG right now. Who can act better? And if we can see throughout the match, Sanjo is the one who's acting real good. So whew, this is going to be rough for Teddy. This is also match point for Sanjo. Turn on So so then I'll bob in my head. Oh fuck. Why? Uh, wait, uh, Space, did this happen to your client where the audio gets really distorted on the GT pick? It jump scares me every single time. This is not high. This is like quite low compared to DT, you know? I, it's around 200-ish. Okay, Sanjay actually dropping a bit more hunters than Teddy right in the beginning. Ooh, interesting. Sanju is alting while Teddy is single tapping. So Teddy might have a little bit of trouble on their burst into slider section coming up. As for the accuracy, Teddy I think has one less hunter. This is the first time we have seen Teddy. Sanju actually breaks! Oh, wait, what's picking at the actual like mastermind shit coming from Teddy? Well, he had nothing to lose. Yeah, nothing to lose. Just go all out. Teddy dropping a bit of hunters, but the combo game is with him. That miss is really going to hurt Sanjo because this is not a long map. That was actually a slider break and a very unfortunate one. The act difference is not that much. It's literally 1%. I am Sheikh. Oh, Teddy. Hold it, hold it together, Teddy. You can do this. Break the 4 zero script. And we are going to the final KI section. A little bit of free combo here, and this will lead into some some fast parts. Teddy not showing any signs of dropping till now. That's really good to see. Teddy is bringing up his accuracy to 98 to maintain that average 98%. As we move into the final drop of the map, Teddy not dropping till now, and he breaks. Fuck, fuck my life. But he still has the 150,000, 150,000. Yeah, advantage. he's there enough time for Shanti to take it back. He's coming from behind. The score is closing real fast. But I don't think there's enough map. This is going to be really close. Oh, he actually takes it right towards the end. Last five seconds, Shanti takes it back into the left. Miss was very really unfortunate for Teddy. F in the chat. F in the chat. F in the chat for Teddy. Oof. That slider back towards the end, literally. Through this, through the balance out of the window. Four zero. Can, oh. can I not curse, <laughs> please? Sadness. Hello. And uh, one it's more thing. That situation. <laughs> Sanjay's act was such a big factor there, which allowed him to take back the lead so freaking first. That was that's a, actually a mega F. It totally felt like Teddy was gonna take it. I actually lifted my hands, was like, Teddy's gonna take this. Boom, misses that as soon as they say that, and Sanju just fucking was Sonic murder. The script is unbeatable, <laughs> unnevertable. I think rampaging Teddy is going to be receiving 50,000 rupees soon. <laughs> <on the back. laughs> oh lord. Guys, you did not hear that. Space, cut that out! End the stream! <laughs> Anyways, I think there's another match today. I'm not sure if there is. I think Space will tell you in the chat or he'll tell us. For now, the script is still strong. 
Okay. Sanju, my name is 4-0, uh, GG to both of the players. See you in the losers bracket city. You have totally like pearls of your skill level there. Make your way through. Just don't don't go don't go fight with Poi. <laughs> okay, uh, are yeah. we done? Yeah, I think. So the next match is what in half an hour? I in not... ten minutes. In ten minutes? Oh fuck. Uh, Space, are you gonna be streaming now? If it is in ten minutes, I don't think you need to end the stream. Oh, I think we need to tag him. Uh, space Chan! Oh, 7 p.m.? Okay, then, yeah, you can just keep the stream running. We'll have a little bit of chat with our viewers. Yeah. I have our sponsor here. Bingo Chips. 